Hey guys, it's going? This is Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on visual effects graph. I had a prototype that I created with basically showing you the sun, and then this sun has millions of particles, and I want to show you how it looks. I want to show you how to actually create something like this if you need it for your own game or you want to do a prototype. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing, which is to create a new effect that is going to have millions of particles. And the effect is going to resemble something like this that I posted in Twitter. It's going to be a sun and this sun also has two million particles and they have physics and, you know, there's just a lot of things going on. So I want to show you how to create an effect like that. So let's go back into Unity. I'm also using the HDRP pipeline and I'm also going to be using the post-processing effects. So I'm using the HDRP template that comes with 2018.3.0 beta 7. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new effect. So I'm going to just right click, create, and then we're going to go into visual effects, visual effects graph. This one is going to be called the sound effect. And I'm just going to double click it so that the graphs opens up. And this is going to be the default. You're going to have this for the most part. And we're going to be just changing some of the things that I have here. On the rate, I'm going to go, I'm not going to go to a million just yet because I want to get it working first. And I'm going to change the rate. And then I'm also going to change this to be 10,000. And we can play with this as we, you know, as we work on it. The other thing that I want to do is right now, this is as I said, size over life. I'm going to remove that node. And the other thing that I'm also going to be removing is let's go ahead and remove the color alpha over over life. Here we're going to be adding a new node and that node is going to be the set size. And we're going to be basically making this much smaller than what we have right now. So it's going to do and just do something like zero negative zero point Zero 0.5, I think we can do positive numbers better. All right, so that's one thing that we need to do. Now the other thing that I'm gonna do is, right now we have the default particle associated. I'm gonna change that to be just particle. We're gonna use the other one, there we go. So we get more of, you know, more, something looking like that for now. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to go into the update particle node and we're gonna add a couple of physics. One of them is gonna be the what's called the, I think it's called the turbulence node. And let's just go ahead and, which is gonna give us more of a turbulence. You're gonna see what that gives us. And then I also need to add another node, which is going to be also in the physics. So I'm hitting a space as I'm selecting each area. And then I'm gonna go into force. And then I'm going to change this to comfort to sphere. There we go. And what I'm going to do is we also need to bring this turbulence. Let's go ahead and remove this and, and I'll add it in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and change this and change the radius. So we're just getting some interesting effects. I didn't think I was going to get something like this because normally it's just, yeah, I think we just need, we probably are going to need a little more particles. So let's go ahead and change the capacity to more, maybe 10,000. So what I'm looking for is making sure that the, okay, so I think I think that, that works. Now let's go into initialize particles. And this is what I'm missing right now. We need to change the position. The position is going to be a sphere. And that's basically what I was looking for. So I do want the physics to, the physics that I have right now comfort to a sphere, because that's gonna give us a cool look. And then I'm just gonna change some of these settings until we get something about what I'm looking for. I think something like that works. And then I also need to change my camera because we're way too far from the camera, from the actual particle. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I think we need to be a little bit closer. Let's get closer. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And then I think I, I like that look. Now what I'm going to do is let's go back into the quad output and then we need to, let's go ahead and go down on particle size. Okay, so I like that. And then I'm also going to go up on the capacity. So now what are we hitting? We're hitting about 1 million particles. That's what I'm seeing right there. 
and then the rate needs to be let me actually move this up i moved that by mistake let's go ahead and increment the rate now we can see a lot more particles in there okay but it doesn't really look too realistic because the particles are just all staying in place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into force and then we're going to add a turbulence and that hopefully it's going to give us more of a change if we look at the intensity you can see that as soon as i change the intensity i think that was too much and let's go ahead and increment the intensity a tiny bit until we get there we go so now you're seeing that they're starting to to spill over and we'll probably just change the drag let me go up on intensity frequency incrementing the frequency so you can see a little bit of changes on the edges okay and then the roughness is going to go up okay so i think i think i'm good there so then the next thing that i want to do here is let's go ahead and look at look at the quad output and just select color and then we have a couple of things that we can do we can say at the color over speed we can just add color we can add color over life i'm going to select add color over life excellent and i think we're good there and then what i'm going to do is i want to change this white and let's do something more like more like a yellow type color and then i'm also going to remove the alpha let's remove this okay now we can let's go ahead and do it do it more, one more time and then this one so i'm using a blend and okay I'm also going to go all the way up on the alpha. And then the alpha on this one, I also want it to be all the way up. And then this is gray right now. I don't want it to be gray. Okay, so I'm just going to go red. A little bit of red here. And then we'll add a little more red. It's kind of hard to see, but we'll make it, we'll make it look good. What happens if I go to fix? Thing that doesn't change it as much and we can also do can also do by speed if i wanted to change the sample mode you can see how that changes that and i could change the minimum let's go ahead and change it over life i think over life is fine and then the other thing that i want to do here is there's also another node where we can scale things so we can say add scale over life we can just simply do add a scale and I wanted to do this so that we can change the you know the size of the particles. And I think one, let's go ahead and do zero, zero. And then I can tweak it. Okay. I want the particles to look a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna do 0 0.02. Let's do 0 0.01. Okay, and this guy I'm gonna change it to two. All right, and but still not seeing much of what I'm looking for as far as like the color. Let's go ahead and click on and do color again. Just gonna hit space here, color. We can add a color by speed, by by over life, which is what I just did. We can add a random color. We can add a blank color. Let's try a blank color and see what we get. See if we can make it stand out a little bit more. And something like that. And it looks like we're making more changes. So I can just do increment X, Y, and Z. And then instead of doing that, I'm going to do, okay. And then let's just bring it down a tiny bit. Something like that works. All right. And then on the UV mode, plane mode, let's try opaque and see what kind of changes we get. So if we go addictive, that's the look that I was looking for. So if you go addictive, it's gonna, it's basically gonna blend better with the particles, and that's that's kind of what I was looking for. So if I go ahead and uncheck this, we can probably get a different look and feel of. Let's go ahead and change some of these colors here. If I do black there, and then we do. Okay, and if we go here. I think this I think this is gonna work better if we just do the blend. Let's try color again. 
and see if we have let's do blame alpha let's see h let's try the alpha and see what we get with the alpha and then this one allow us and we can just basically it's going to allow us to blend an alpha value we can go you know we can increment it and change it that way give it a little more fire okay so i think we're getting we're getting closer but we're not quite there yet so if we go back into the turbulence let's go ahead and make a couple of changes here on the intensity so we can see some of the spills there let's do there we go and then what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and get back a tiny bit more all right there we go and i'm also going to look at adding a different particle so let's do force a different physics so this is going to be force the cool thing with this is we can add so you can see how some of the particles are changing so if I change the intensity on Y, all the particles are. So we can do, let's do point 0.1 there. Point 0.1. Can probably just increment it a tiny bit more. And what if we remove the comfort to a sphere? You can see how everything is just starting to spill. If we lower the amount of turbulence. We can get, and I'm also going to change this. And we can also, and this is just a matter of, you know, playing around with everything. You see the intensity is just too high. Okay, I think what I'm going to do for now, you just play around with it and you can watch how, how I tweak everything. Alright guys, so that gives you a demo of everything that I did in order to get this working. It still has a lot of changes if I wanted to make it look like a real sun. But I think that gives you an idea of what I had to do to play around and make it look like this. The other thing that I could do as well that I that I told you in the beginning of the video is we could also use post-processing effects. And it's going to be expensive, but I think for this video it's just, you know, understanding how the visual effects craft works. So I'm going to go in, I'm actually going to change the view here, so it's not, it's not as big. And there we go, so we can see more of the sun. And if we look at the post-processing effects, which is in this node, we have a lot of different things right now that are getting applied. So, you know, if I change this to 1 and, and 0, this is a way of the entire volume. I can also change the vignetting if I wanted the vignetting to be stronger. Maybe we do want to make it stronger in this case, since we want to focus in this area. You can also change the fixed exposure. If I wanted these to you know, be really dark and then just focus in that area, then I could do that. Also has automatic and then curve mapping. And But the other thing is we can also look at the, at the white balance and see how that makes a change. I'm also gonna change it all the way to 100 or maybe let's go ahead and do 50. Chromatic aberration, it's a really cool effect here. I don't know that it's making it change a lot, but in this case, it doesn't really doesn't really make a change. And the other thing that I could do is let's go ahead and click on post processing, and we can look at adding bloom and see how that's going to affect what we're working on. And we can do we can just go ahead and go go with high. I'm gonna go into the intensity. And you can see that right off the bat, that just gives it a really cool look more to what I was looking for from the from the other video. Scatter, we can also make a change on the scatter. Maybe we just give it a little bit of scatter so we can see the, the redness coming out of the sun. And I think that looks good. I don't know that I want to use any other effects. We can, in fact, we can just look at some and see lighting, path tracing, post-processing, and color curve. Let's go ahead and look at color curves. And I'm not going to make any change here, but we could if we wanted to. And we can do overwrite. And you can add, add a key. And you can see how that makes changes. And okay, so I think color curves is fine. Let's go ahead and look at another one. This will be the last one that I look at, and then I think we can call it we can call it good. Depth of field, color adjustments. 
shadows, highlights, tone mapping. Tone mapping is one that I really enjoy using. It gives a, it gives the scene a lot of a lot of depth. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on ACS. That's the one that I normally use. And, and that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on VFX and Visual Effects Craft, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developer. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.